The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the May 13th, the marvelous Monday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Yeah, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us not to us. That's right. When you make that, when you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. I'd love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't call in, we've got you covered. You can always send me an email. Send that off to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside the Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magnificent Marvelous Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. A sea of green, although slightly in some cases for U.S. indices. The S&P is up two points. The Nasdaq's up 19. The Nasdaq, I'm sorry, the Dow is up 19. The Nasdaq 137. Russell's up 17, nearly an 8% move. Eight tenths of a percent move to the upside. Don't worry, Stevie will get it. Although I am a bit tired, I do have to admit that. 28 point move inside the semis, 81 points inside the trannies. Uh, you've got gold that's trading off 32 bucks. Silver's down seven cents. Lights recruit is up 89 pennies. Seven cents for the uh, uh, natural gas contract. And the uh, 30 year treasure's up eight ticks right now. Print on 116.10. Now, our leader in the clubhouse, dollar wise, the upside, micro strategy, 67 bucks, nearly 6%. Broadcom, 15 bucks, 1%. GameStop, 12 bucks, 70%. Restoration hardware eleven bucks four percent, Adobe seven bucks one and a half percent. To the downside, it's some spicy wings. Wing stop down twelve bucks three percent. Super microcomputer nine bucks a little over one percent. Facebook Meta it's off ten bucks two percent. Asbel Holdings down one percent or nine bucks and uh, MKS Instruments down about eight dollars. That's a six percent move. So we got movers and we've got shakers. But we're going to begin our day by taking a look at um, well. We, we kind of ran through this um, last week. Let's do it again here. Well, first, here's the equity futures. We can see here uh, the daily time frame. We'll take a couple different views of them. Here we take a look at the ES mini. We can see price has made its way up to the 0.786 retracement. It's made its way up towards the 1.272 expansion of its A to B equals CD pattern. It's also making its way up to its swing point high, or the swing point, its all-time swing point, and that's from back on April the 1st. And the low there is at 52.82 and a quarter. Short of a bearish reversal candle, you could get a, right now, it's a shooting star if this were the end of the uh, session then you'd have a sell the d point short of a bearish reversal candle price should continue to move higher that is the same for really all full well uh, that's the exception being now the uh russell 2000 we'll, we'll get to that momentarily here we take a look at the nq price has made its way up towards a 0.786 retracement hasn't gotten all the way up there but it's close enough for our work it's well beyond the one to one a to b equals cd so it too is waiting for a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top the same is true with the dow now the dow is at the 0.786 retracement of its move down. It's already beyond the 1.272 expansion. Its next price target area, if it can close above 39,738 or thereabout, would be 40,030. Now, if we do that, and it's already inside, it's already testing. Make sure of this. 
Yeah. So it is testing today. When I say it, I'm referring to the swing point, the all-time high swing point from April the 1st, the low. It's testing that low. That low is 39,709. We're at 39,674. Um, if price closes inside that, that's why that number is important out here. Again, this is the June contract, and the level to watch is 39,709. If price closes inside that, we're, it's likely headed back to its all-time high. Um, that number, by the way. This is a Dow Equity Future contract that we're looking at, would be up at the uh, 4358 level. Now, the Russell 2000 on Friday generated a dark cloud cover candle. So that confirmed it's one to one, A to B equals CD, Gartley sell pattern or sell the D point. There's also a new profile that is attempting to form. It has shifted a bit. Uh, right now, resistance at 2096 is a port down at 2044. We'll know about that profile come tomorrow. So one of the four does have a topping pattern. The other Three, you want to watch for some type of bearish reversal candle because that could identify a top. Maybe it's a top that lasts for a day. Maybe it's two days. Maybe it's two weeks. Maybe it's two months. But you got to get one. You got to get a top out there in order for that to uh, any of those uh, possibilities uh, to uh, uh, to take place out there. If we take a look at the. Uh, New York Stock Exchange, we talked about this on Friday, that divergence pattern, and when I say divergence pattern, I'm referring to price moving higher with the advanced client oscillator that is moving lower out there. That's a divergence pattern. When we spoke about this on Friday, we said we still have to wait for a signal inside the New York Stock Exchange to help identify when that divergence may become a problem. It is not right here just yet. Now, we're not looking at New York Stock Exchange charts. We can do that uh, later in the show. Um, I spoke about at the 11 a.m. update the fact that the spot volatility is uh, – trading higher. It's trading well above Friday's high out there. Kind of unusual. Um, other area to watch would be 1385. 1385 happens to be the uh, parabolic SAR dot on this. And the spot fix index has been behaving pretty well with regard to those signals out there. In other words, if price gets up there, we could be seeing a change in trend. Now, price is still well below uh, the uh, bottom of the 50-day exponential moving average at 1467. So even though we got a slight divergence here, it's something to pay attention to. Don't know whether anything is going to come out of it, but it's something for us to pay attention to. Now, if we shift over, take a look at those white background charts here. They have just a little bit less detail on them. I don't have the retracement levels here, uh, but you'll see those A to B equals CD patterns out there. You'll also see that we are in day number seven with regard to the ES, the NQ, and the uh, Dow Equity Future contract. Remember, the Russell right now already has its topping pattern. Before it really wants to start moving lower, should it want to move lower, it's waiting for the other three to uh, get the uh, signal that it's time to do so. Right now, that's not it. But today is going to become bar number seven. So we have both TD, uh, we have an we have A to B equals CD patterns that would generate sell the D points if we got bearish reversal candles. And we also have in backup for a potential top would be TD night coach that could take place between Tuesday, tomorrow and Thursday out there. So that's what we want to watch over the coming days out here to help us navigate what the markets are doing. What are they doing on the short term time frame? Are there any signals out there? Excellent question here. If we take a look at the ES mini. What do we know? We know if I take a look at the, um, let's just take a look at a 60-minute chart out here. Why? Because it has a Roachman to indicator top and price right now finding support at the bottom of its new profile, and that's at 52.48. So I'd say watch 52.48. If price closes below that, we like to get back at least to the swing point low from about noon on the uh, trading day of May the 10th out there, and that could be down at about the 52.32 level. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. 
But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Let's finish taking a look at those ES mini charts, and we'll get into some of the requests that have uh, come in there. We were taking a look at the uh, five-hour time, no, the 60-minute uh, time frame chart, which has a Rhodes momentum indicator top. Uh, the one that I'm also really paying attention to is the five-hour time frame. So the five-hour time frame has Rhodes momentum indicator top. It was tested earlier this morning. It actually has formed another, well, right at the moment. This candle does not complete till 2 p.m., but at the moment, it's a bear sash candle. So just confirming the strong resistance level. Now, the cool thing there is if we were to see an end of day rally um, and if price were to close above 52.64 that negates those signals and likely adds the idea that we continue to head higher out there so i'd watch that to the upside to the downside right now price is testing the first area of support that's the top of its profile 52.50 below that it's 52.36 and below that's 52.22 out there and that's the five hour time frame if we look at the um got a consolidation on the four hour time frame i don't know that it's going to confirm a, a td9 count top on the two hour right now it would not so it needs to rally from here in order for that to take place um, nothing else that really sticks out to me with regard to the ES Mini. The most important time frame, the most important time frame today, tomorrow, uh, the next day is going to be that daily time frame. What you're looking for there is some type of bearish reversal candle to confirm a top, or perhaps we go on and form a TD9 count top again between tomorrow and uh, Thursday out there. So let's go take a look at some of the requests that have come in. We've got about five, I believe, at this stage of the game. Would love many more, but the first one coming in from David H. in Panama City. And David would like to take a look at Tesla. I believe he's got a position. I can't recall if it was a long or short position now, but he's got a position that's going to close on Friday. And his question is, you know, what does it look like as far as this week? Well, if we look at the daily time frame, so that's the first place and probably the best place for us to start. What we see here is that on the trading day of May the 8th, price got back inside that profile. And we have been trading sideways ever since. So 
what I can first share with you is where profile support and profile resistance is. 162.83 is support. If price closed below 162.83, that suggests lower price. If we close above 174.84, that's the top of the profile, that would suggest higher price. So right now, I would say with regard to your trade, uh, from a daily standpoint, I would be observing both the top and bottom of that profile, uh, whichever one is taken out. If they're even taken out, then that would point to the direction that's next direction out there. Otherwise, it's just a sideways consolidation. The weekly time frame chart is also consolidating with inside its daily profile. I'm sorry, its profile, not daily, weekly profile. Now, the cool thing here, perhaps, is prices found support at 168.57, the low today, 169. That is its red oscillator and change line. If you were to start seeing price uh, trade below that, I would say that's an indication to me 168.84 is on uh, is game 162.83 again just uh, David just getting back to those daily profile levels the monthly chart not helping us much you have a consolidation with inside its profile as well so we've kind of ad nauseum covered the consolidated with inside their profiles and we're trying to provide assistance here for David let's try to um, well here's here's one thing that should be of help I suppose let's take a look at daily moves up and down consecutive closes so friday was the fourth bar to the downside out there and we do know that it formed a nice bottom out here this is the first four bar move to the downside if this is bullish then that should really be it we shouldn't see another consecutive bar to the downside that says today finishes higher what you should at least see here maybe this is part of your trade uh, well, I don't know if you're long or short, though. My apology there. Uh, you could expect or anticipate a, a two to three day rally out there. And you can see and take a look at its consecutive moves out there. That is a pretty commonplace situation. At least two bar move to the upside. Uh, now let's go take a quick peek at take a quick peek at the intraday chart out here. The first one that I've got on my screen is a 65 minute time frame chart. What do we have here? You've got a TD nine count bottom pattern, price above profile. So the level to the upside you're watching here, David, is going to be 175.62. Now that's on a 65 minute time frame. Let's take a quick peek in at the 30 minute chart. See what kind of signal it might have. It's got a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. And, uh, you know, it did take out that breakdown resistance level, 173.15. But we're back uh, below that area right now. We're testing profile support. And if this profile support fails to hold price, it being 172.54, then you should see a move to the 170.98 to 171.50. Now, we've just gone to a 30 and a 65 minute time frame chart. So what we've done is gone down to some real intraday time periods and he's holding a position that doesn't expire until Friday out there. So I hope that was the information you were looking for and uh, best of luck to you on that trade. SNP inside the Tiger's Den would like to take a look at Gilead. G-I-L-D is the uh, ticker symbol. So we're going to get those charts up here and I believe it was just simply an outlook on what the charts are communicating to us. So we take a look at GILD. It had a beautiful, having a beautiful day today. And SNP, the next battle for this, but first, by the way, this has your Rhodes momentum indicator bottom with price trading inside its bullish structured profile. And that next price target is going to be 67.57. So it's going to go test those sellers. Uh, fairly soon. If it can close above 67.57, the daily chart's next price target will be 72.85. I'm not saying price is going to get there because the weekly chart says, well, you might have a pit stop before you get all the way to 72.85. Its pit stop would first be at the 68 and change level. Right now it says 68.44 on my screen. And then above that, the real key one would be 69.31. And 69.31 is the top of its weekly profile. Monthly chart not really providing us with a, a ton of information on a 65 minute time frame chart and the 65 minute bar that we're in right now is going to close at 1140. So uh, just a about uh, what 16 minutes from now or so. Now this is telling you you could see a TD nine count top form uh, between in essence 1140 and then the next 130 minutes after that. So uh, 1140, 1240, what's that, uh, 115, 110, something like that. So that's what I would be watching for just simply from an intraday standpoint uh, for Gilead. But
But otherwise, everything looks uh, nice, nice here daily and weekly. And I expect that this should continue to make its way up to that resistance zone in the 67.57 level out there. Uh, so S&P, hope that helps you out. You also want to take a look at Baidu. So let's pull up the charts here for Baidu, see what they're doing for you, doing for us. And you got Baidu right now that had formed a TD9 count top. It had a TD9 count bottom. And it formed a TD9 count top. It was a bar falling bar number nine. Shortly after it forms that top, it created a uh, new profile. It is a fairly wide profile, uh, uh, S&P. Resistance is up at the 113.88. And support is between 101.79 and 104.81. So that's your support zone. I would expect and anticipate... That price will make its way up to the 113.88 level. However, it is trading inside this gap. So this instrument, Baidu, gapped down on the trading day of May the 7th. When it gapped down, it was 3 million shares. Today so far, Baidu has done, oh, 1.7 million shares. You're moving into that gap with volume. That then at in the swing point itself... That's 1.8 million shares. Okay, so S&P, Baidu is headed to 113.88. 113.43 is also a resistance level. But that's what I see when I take a look at BIDU. We come back to this break. We're going to look at Amazon. We're going to look at the gold contract. We're going to take a look at wheat. I believe we're going to take a look at a few other things. Nike is one of the things we're going to look at. Wheat and soy, please. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Tigers, you've seen his show, you've learned from his webinars, and now it's time to trade side-by-side -side with him. Join Larry Pesavento for the second month of his new service, Live Trading Fridays. Hosted in the Tiger's Den trading room on Discord, Larry has analyzed a number of commodities and indices, placed profitable trades, and explained his method. Whether you're new to trading or are a seasoned market veteran, trading side-by-side -side with a titan like Larry Pesavento will only enhance your game. Utilizing Fibonacci retracements and ABCD structures, Larry provides decades of insight into when to place trades, when to exit, when to ignore, and so much more. Learning is doing. So if you're serious about learning technical analysis and becoming profitable in this uncertain market, Live Trading Fridays is a must-have tool in your arsenal. Live Trading Fridays occur every second and fourth Friday of the month, so trading events for this month are May 10th and 24th. If you're serious about trading, we'll see you there. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. 
investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back. Uh, folks, we're taking a look at the stock charts here for Amazon. This is for Duncan Steve inside the Tiger's Den. And uh, what we have right now here, Duncan, on a daily time frame, is a uh, consolidation with inside its daily profile. So right now, price is trading inside the sell zone, so to speak. That's between 185.40 and 188.43. If price were to close below the 185.40 level, that would be your indication that Amazon's intent is to get down and test support. And that would be the daily profile bottom at 176.31. If you look at the weekly time frame chart out there, the weekly time frame has a Rhodesman to indicator top that has led to a sideways move. The sideways move with price finding support at the bottom of its profile, 173.30. Uh, you could get another confirmation of Rhodesman to indicator top this week, too. It doesn't need a second confirmation out there. And on a monthly time frame, what we don't have, well, I take that back. Well, let me just make sure. My eyes say we do, but. The data may say something else. So give me a second here. What you're looking at is the question is, did this complete an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside? The answer is yes. So you do have a sell the D point pattern inside of Amazon. Now, in order for that pattern to get negated, what we need to see is a close above last week's high. Now, that high out there would be 189.77. So let's summarize this for you. You've got a weekly top. That was tested last week, and that is held. That is still in place out there. If price were to close below 185.40, that suggests moving down to 176. And on a monthly time frame, even though you got a top, want to watch that high from last month because if you close above that, we are headed um, higher out there. Let's go out to uh, John in Philly. Hey, John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Steve, I'm doing very well. Thank you for taking the call again, sir. My pleasure. Uh, what did you want to look at? Uh, Kansas City Wheat uh, Futures, the July contract, sir. Uh, I've got the ticker symbol as KEN4. It is making new multi-month highs. I'm holding a core long from way back on March 6th. I've done a whole bunch of scalp trading, uh, virtually all on the long side. I bought some more this morning before... It closed temp uh, before the pause at 845. Um, so that's the background. That's the markets. It's up at 694 now. Yes. Um, I had uh, last week entertained the idea that a move over 675 would quickly target 695. And 695 in my work is the FIB 382 resistance mark. Uh, based upon the decline that took place from last fall's high down to the spring low. Anyway. Okay, okay, okay cool. Is there, is there anything in your work that suggests this rally phase uh, is running its course, uh, may top out, may struggle to move higher? That's my question. Sure. Excellent. So first, with regard to today's activity, first, uh, first, congrats, congrats on the trade. Uh, what you like in today's activity is the mere fact that prices trade above 673.38. 673.38, John, is the daily profile resistance zone. So closing above that says that this should continue to move higher. Um, and you'd mention a 0 0.382 level. I don't. I, uh, if I take a look at my weekly chart, and the weekly chart had a TD nine cal bottom, uh, price should go target seven eighty seven and a quarter, and seven eighty seven and a quarter is the next TD nine cal breakdown resistance level. It already passed one last week, and that was at the six fifty three. 653 level. Typically, if you get past one resistance area, one breakdown level, you'll get up to the next one. I believe your number that you were looking at was higher than 707. Is that correct? No. Uh-oh. Uh John, I'm kind of losing you there. Um, I'm uh, but, sorry. Oh, don't. Steve, oh, oh. Uh, the number I was giving you was 695. That's not a, Six. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't a, uh, a point that I expected at top. 
but that yes. was the highest number that I just mentioned. Yeah, so what's cool about that is your 695 is really tying into the 707 number. So you know where the resistance zone is going to be. And what I would be doing is uh, taking a look at the daily time frame chart to see if there's any kind of signals there. And at the moment, there just simply is not. Now, if we if we move down to a short-term time frame chart out here, the short-term time frame chart for the July contract, um, if it can tick above, so let's see, it's 11.35. This is 30 minutes. If it can tick above... 696 and a quarter and so far the high has been oh it already did that so this is going to generate on a 30 minute time frame john this is going to generate a 30 minute td9 count top now all that means there's really two different things that that means one the ordinary price behavior would be the price would pull back to test support if that is the case that would be a pullback towards the 682 level and that's the oscillator and change line Whereas if price is able to take out whatever this 30 minute bars high is, and I don't know if it's going to be the uh, level that we're at right now, which is 696.50, but whatever that high is, if price begins trading above that, then that will tell you about a strong momentum move to the upside, at least for this specific time frame. And um, is there another time frame that you use uh, that you like to use, John? Uh, no, Steve, I was focusing uh, specifically on the daily and that we. OK, sir. Steve, let me just mention this. Um, just in closing, um, I did not buy uh, the Kansas City Wheat Futures contract on any expectation of crop failures in the world someplace. I know I'm unable to predict that. My uh, my job is trying to find low-risk entry points, that sort of thing. Well, sure. with all that said, there's an emerged um, uh, weather problem in the Russian wheat belts. I will just share with you, the last time that occurred was 2010, and in a mere six weeks, um, wheat prices here traded on the Chicago Board of Trade and the uh, Kansas City Board uh, nearly doubled in five, six weeks' time as uh, part of the Russian wheat crop was lost. Uh, of course, I don't know if that's uh, going sure. to happen similarly, but I'm thinking about that possibility. Um, and uh, so, so for what it's worth, uh, we'll take it. Uh, we'll take it from there. No, that's great information. Thanks. I will just pass on to you that if uh, price clears at 695, 707 area, the next price targets on my weekly and monthly time frame get up to 814 and 826. Not a complete doubling, but you could double by getting all the way back. This thing, the July contract, believe it or not, in June of 2022 at a TD9 count top. And that's what led to a TD nine count bottom on the monthly time frame. So, uh, and I know you like Kansas City uh, uh, weed out there. So, um, Maybe pay attention to those long-term TD9 counts out there. Pretty amazing. Hey, John, thanks Excellent. for calling. Is there anything else I Thank can you do for Steve. you? Okay. You, you That's bet. it. You Bye. Bet. You bet. That was John in Philly. Uh, we come back to this break. Um, well, we'll pick up for the requests that have come in. And uh, I can't remember where I left off. Was it Amazon, I think? But uh, I'll make sure that I figure that out as soon as we're back. Be right back. spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keckstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. Let's take a look at the uh, gold contract. This is for uh, Ron inside the uh, Tiger's Den. And Ron, when we take a look at I know you wanted the intraday charts. Uh, so the uh, largest time frame that I've got out here is a daily time frame. And the daily time frame shows that price is trading into its bullish structured profile buy zone. And that is between the price level of 23.17 to 23.40. And now let's look at those intraday charts. What do we have out here? The first one I want to go to is wherever I can find a top. Well, actually, the one I want to go to is where we can find a buy to see if they've been negated and so that's going to be the 60 minute time frame chart so from an intraday standpoint what we can see out here is we had a TD9 count bottom that went ahead and completed at 7 o'clock this morning. Then we had a uh, bullish structure profile that formed at 8 a.m. Right now we are trading below that level. If we get a close at noon below 2346 it will give you a you'll have you'll have you'll be below a key level of support from its 60 minute time frame, you'll negate a TD nine count bottom. And that would suggest that we head lower. Now the head lower piece of it is where I just simply fall back to that daily profile out there, you know, that 2317, 2340 area. If we look for any kind of bottom signals now, the 30 minute chart has the potential, well, it has a wave number seven signal, I believe. Let's open that up and take a quick peek at it. It most certainly does. Um, now, what that's going to need on a 30-minute basis is a higher low to form out there. So you do have one potential bottom signal. It has not been confirmed yet. The second potential signal would be if you were to see a bullish reversal candle on a 30-minute time frame, that would then trigger a Rhodesman indicator bottom out there. Short of that, because price is below profile support and it's on certain change line, I would say price would head lower. But I keep my eyes on that 30-minute time frame chart for potential bottom signals. And you can say the same with regard to the 15-minute. 15 15-minute 15 shows both wave number seven signal and it shows a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal those require bullish reversal candles the two-hour time frame chart is in the process right now of negating its TD9 count bottom this candle completes at noon as well so it looks to me and to get close below that the two-hour time frame chart says we could get back to 2314 remember 2317 is the bottom of that daily profile we have traded below the bottom of that daily profile we did that a few times last week and the week before out there so I would watch the um, 
just watch those 30 minute and 15 minute charts for potential signal of at least some type of counter trend move or potential bottom out there. And in, in, uh, and a lack of that is going to suggest we start heading down towards the 2314 level. So, Ron, I hope that helps you out. And as always, thanks so much for your requests. The next request that came in, and that's not it. I got to try to figure out where did Stevie put it. And that's not it. Oh. Uh, is this it here? There we go. Apple. I apologize. I did not write down who requested Apple, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to give you my view on it. The first view on it is Apple formed a sell the D point top last Friday. How to do that, Stephen? Well, there's an A to B equals CD. You can see the A point to the B. And let's just follow the letters there, even though that's not but that's those are Chapman wave letters. Then we have a retracement that creates that C point down to the low on May the first, and then boom, we take off to the upside. Now, the first bearish reversal candle to form was on Friday. It was a dark cloud cover candle. Well, guess what? We're trading above that. Apple is trading above profile resistance at 185.21. It's trading into a recent swing point from back on May 3rd. The volume on that swing point was 163 million shares. You're trading up to into it with much lighter volume, maybe by day's end, 75 million, 80 million, something along those lines. But nonetheless, if you close back, if you remain above 185.21, even though you're inside that swing point with light volume, odds favor you go test that high. The weekly chart is bullish. Why is it bullish? Well, it's trading above a green oscillator and change line, and it's trading above last week's high. That's why it's bullish. And that says the price might want to go target resistance, 189.83. But, of course, we know that that swing point that it's dealing with from May 3rd, that's at 187, even Steven. So first, it's got to clear that level before 189 comes into play out there. And the monthly time frame, price is trading into a bearish structured profile sell zone. That range on that runs between 186.85 and 198.23. So that's what I see when we take a look at Apple. My apology for not writing down who asked for that. Uh, Dan wanted to take a look at Nike. NKE is the ticker symbol. And here, what do we see when we take a look at Nike? Well, So the daily has shown us a couple different times, Dan, of a false move to the downside. What I mean by that is the trading day of May 1st, price closed below its bullish structured profile. You know, we've got that two-day rule, that two-bar rule out there. And the very next day, back inside. What did it do on Friday? Close below that bullish structured profile. Now, Friday's volume, 10 million shares, that prior swing point, 10 million shares, 9.7. So similar volume. But now today, we're back inside that profile. Shoot, I don't know. Um, yeah, so the daily is not generating for me. It is not generating a clear picture. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Weekly chart a little bit easier. We just simply know that the oscillator and change sign is acting as a key resistance level. And what is that? 92.76. And that has acted for several months out here. If you were to see Nike close above that red oscillator and change on a weekly time frame, the first thing that it would tell us is that we're likely to head up to 97.44 over time. And 97.44 is the top of its weekly profile. Monthly chart looks pretty bad because price is below profile support and a red oscillator and change line. However, it is trading into a prior bottom that was a TD9 count bottom and the swing point from the month of October of 2022. And that swing had 200 million shares. Last month, you moved into it with 200 million shares. This month, we're not even going to spend time to try to figure that one out. So I would say here, I would say that if Nike closes below the low from back on May Day, May 1st out there at 90.09, that's going to be a suggestion that you could even form an A to B equals CD to the downside. I guess what I'm saying here, Dan, is I'm not seeing a whole lot of um, – of indications that Nike really wants to move higher in any kind of concerted way out there. So that's what I see. I hope that helped you out. And uh, as always, thank you for your requests. Uh, the next request is from uh, Peter. Let's take a look at soybeans. November soybeans, I believe, is what you were looking for, Peter. If we take a look at the November soybeans out there, what do we have? We have a sell the D point pattern formed about four days ago. It was on uh, May the 8th. Uh, it formed that because you had an A to B equals C to the upside. 
The bear sash candle confirmed that. And what did price do? Came right back and tested its oscillator and change zone, which is green. That means we have a rising price oscillator above zero. Those are bullish conditions. But I thought you said we have a stop, a top, Stevie. I did. So you got a top and you've got a bottom. What's that mean? That means you're neutral on a daily time frame. On a weekly time frame, you are not neutral at all. Prices trade above profile resistance at 1203. Uh, you closed above it last week. Uh, so this is a definitely, at least at this stage of the game, telling you about a profile change in trend and that price wants to continue to move higher. Now, this could actually go ahead and generate an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. This would look like, we'll draw on the A to B point, and then we'll try the old copy and paste. See how that works? Copy, paste, and now all we need is the assemble portion of it, and there's our assemble portion. So it gets us up to about the 1240 level out there as far as an A to B equals CD pattern uh, to the upside. And all that it needs to do in order to do that is close above 1216. Again, that is a November contract that we're taking a look at. If it were the July contract out there, I believe, oh, shoot. Sorry about that, folks. Well, the good news is we're going to break. So I'll resolve this uh, screen issue here called Stevie's Fat Fingers. Yeah. But uh, when we come back to this break, we're going to take the NBCR, AEM, and CS to finish out the show. We'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors.
Welcome back, folks. I had overlooked a uh, take a look at the December wheat for G-Man inside the Tiger's Den. Uh, G-Man, the uh, monthly chart looks like it wants to get up to 757.75. It's TD9 count breakdown level. The weekly chart says I'd like to get to 743 and a quarter. Uh, you are in bar number nine on a TD9 count. That says a weekly top should take place this week or next. Uh, right now on the daily time frame, you are in bar number seven. So I would say be paying attention to the uh, December wheat contract uh, tomorrow, Tuesday through Thursday as it may form a TD9 count top. I see A to B equals CD patterns as well out there. I see a wave number seven pattern. So the weekly is saying it's getting ready to form some type of a top. You've got a TD9 count on the five-hour time frame chart. So hope that that helps you out there. Uh, Dan wanted to take a look at ticker symbol NVCR. Speaking of TD9 counts, in a moment we'll get that chart up on our screen. Well, I took a brief look at it. I believe it was the daily time frame chart that is now in bar number nine of a TD9 count. So Dan, this is pulling this is pulling into a prior TD nine count top that formed out here on uh, March the 8th volume. There was about a million shares so far today. You're up with um, 319 about similar type volume. So this should top between today and tomorrow. And the problem is that support is all the way down at 1497. The weekly chart looks pretty good, and that's beginning to trade above the top of his weekly profile, but it's still too early to call that one. And the uh, monthly chart is still trading below profile support at about the 19... 14 level out there. So that's what I see when we take a look at NVCR. Hector wanted to take a look at Nico Eagle, AEM. As we take a look at it, what do we see out here? Well, it negated its TD9 count top. Um, it does not have a topping pad that's in place. The price is below that green oscillator and change on a daily basis, Hector and Patty. It closed below 67.79, could be signaled move to 65.30. The weekly chart has an A to B equals CD pattern, but not a bearish reversal candle. The monthly chart has got an A to B equals CD to the upside, no bearish reversal candle either out there. So it's really kind of the daily right now. Not that there's a top in place out here, but it may have lost its momentum just for a tad. And then finally, Z Scaler, ZS out here this is for nicholas nicholas you've got a new profile that has formed so you've got support at 170 20 resistance at 178 89 out there the week looks pretty good with its td9 count bottom also trading with inside his profile support at 170 and resistance between 182 and 186 folks have a marvelous monday and stay tuned for all the great programming i'll see you tomorrow 11 a.m sharp take care be safe out there